Look. Oh my god. Look. Oh my god. Oh my god. One thing inside the balloon. <laughs> That should is so be your cool. card. It's coming to the park. Yeah. Little heart. Isn't that super cool? Isn't this, thing, isn't this thing great? What's up everybody, John Stessel here, and today I'm actually gonna be introducing something new to my channel. So, I am in love with magic, and a passion of mine that many of you may not know is that I love wacky old magic. I love going into magic stores and finding weird magic props that I don't know how they work, I don't know what they do, and then kind of trying to figure that out on the spot and then kind of making up routines or just learning about them for my own magic mind. So in doing this, I've realized that not a lot of young magicians are looking at old magic props. So this week on my channel, I'm gonna start trying to do that. So I recently found this wacky magic prop right here, and I'm going to show you what this is and how it works and what it does. So let's see a performance video of me actually using this like wacky houlette thing and uh, see what it actually does. All right, so I'm kind of becoming obsessed with going through like old vintage magic props, and I found this thing which already looks ridiculous, but we're gonna do a trick with this. Cool. So uh, first things first, pick any one of these balloons. Doesn't matter which one. That one, perfect. Nothing inside of it, obviously. Nope. Leave those, doesn't matter. Right, we're gonna take this, tie a little knot right here, and we're gonna leave this right here in this little boulette. Down. So this we're gonna leave right here so you guys can see the whole time. That's pretty cool. It is, right? It's a nice little nice little prop. And you're gonna take any card. If you don't like it, you can change it. Doesn't matter. I know, I'm just trying to get it. Remember it? Nice. You like it? Yeah. Sign your name nice and big on it and then show the camera. Perfect. And we'll put it back right here. I'll show the camera. I'll get nice and close so the camera can see. Perfect, camera's got it. Mm -hmm. Amazing. And we're gonna leave this sticking out of the deck. That way there's no way to know, you can see exactly where it is for the remainder of the trick. Okay. And the idea is is really quite simple. What I'm gonna try to do is we're gonna take your card, we're gonna lose it into the deck, and hopefully something amazing will happen. So watch closely, we'll square it in, and nothing's in my hand, right? So what I want you to do is I'm gonna leave my hand right here on the deck, and all I want you to do is concentrate on the balloon, okay? Mm -hmm. Concentrate, concentrate. Look. Oh my god. One thing inside the balloon. <laughs> that should is so be your cool. card. Come on, little heart. Yeah. Little heart. Woo! Isn't that, that super so cool? cool? That isn't this cool. thing isn't this thing great? God. That is cool. <laughs> it's amazing. I can't wait to see this reaction. Wait, no, keep it rolling, keep it rolling. Don't hit the button. That was awesome. That scared me too. It's scary, right? Yeah. God, the way it works is fucking nuts. Alright, right, Wave Gang, so I know you're watching this and being like, John, we get it, the balloon pops and the card's there. How does it work? Well, I'm here to show you that, but before I do, I'm gonna let every one of you know, this thing is hella dangerous. Like, this might be the most dangerous magic prop I've ever played with, and I just want you to know that, like, that's the truth. And this is pretty much a kid's trick. Like, I can't imagine this being a trick that is used in any other setting except a kid's magic show. Maybe an adult stage show, maybe. But this trick is so dangerous. So I'm gonna kind of show you why it's so dangerous. So there's this giant needle right here. You can see this, right? This is a needle, this is pointy, sharp. This is what pops the balloon. And the way that this pops the balloon is there is this bar right here and it's on a spring loaded hinge and this snaps up and pops the balloon thus sending this needle hurtling at the balloon and when it's at a full cocked position this needle is going at like five miles an hour like this thing is so dangerous i cannot believe this is actually a prop that somebody's used because it's so dangerous but yeah, it's really crazy cool, and I'm gonna kind of show you the real inner workings right now, but I just wanted to say that this thing is super dangerous, and it looks like a trap right out of the movie Saw. Yeah, it's bizarre. Ow. 
So please ignore the balloons and my shoes and everything else, but here is the prop. And the way this prop works, honestly, it's really incredible, it's really clever, and it's also dangerous, but it, it's something that I think everybody should see because it's bizarre. So you have this hoolet up here. This holds the balloon open, which actually when I first got it was broken, so I had to fix it. And next what you have is you have this arm. And this arm, if this front piece is held down, this arm gets pulled back, and with this little bracket down here, right here, gets actually locked into place. So if I twist this, I can lock this bracket in place. If I push this bracket again, that actual needle shoots up to the top. So this arm is where the whole magic secret lies. So there's a few components. First, the way that you set the trick up is you pull the arm down and you twist this bottom alligator clip downward. Then you lock this arm in place. As you can see, now this arm is locked with this super dangerous needle sticking out. And next, you actually have this really cool little alligator clip down here. As you can see, it's an alligator clip. This alligator clip has BBs or ball bearings. These ball bearings are like the same thing from like a dog tag. And at the top of this, there is a little notch. If you can see that notch right there, that notch is where that uh, is how you actually keep this open. So you go to close the clip and then you lock those ball bearings in. And now what's just happened. Oh, see the thing open. So that's dangerous. But now what's happened is this ball bearings are keeping this clip open right now, right here. The clip is open and there's this hole in the bottom of the houlette, which you can see here. And I'm gonna make it really clear by sticking a card through it. So what happens is there's this little hole down here that you can insert a card into this alligator clip through the bottom of the houlette into the open alligator clip. And now is where the method gets very diabolical because this little BB is keeping the alligator clip open. So if I flick this BB off, you're gonna even see it, it's gonna snap shut. Now this card is gonna go nowhere. It is being grabbed by this alligator clip very tight because it's like an industrial strength alligator clip. And now here's where the interesting part is. Now do you see this lever? So as I mentioned, I push this lever over to lock this needle in place. If I push this lever over, it's going to release that needle. It's gonna spring up because of the spring and the needle will pop the balloon, bringing the sign card with it looking like this. Isn't this thing bizarre? So the other part that's really interesting about this thing is that this piece that's attached to the alligator clip moves 90 degrees. So what's cool about this is that it's on a little spring itself. So it has a little spring right here and it's got this little tiny hinge. So the thing, so the reason why this is so interesting to me is that the card is doing a full 180. So it's starting at the bottom of the deck right here and I'm gonna hold this in with my finger. It's starting here. Then you can see it's parallel. This piece is parallel to the ground. Then this is coming up. And then once it's hitting, that second spring is opening and flapping vertical. So it's going from it being fully horizontal, like this, inserted back so you can see it here. It's going from it being horizontal, the clip, it comes out full 180. And then from here, this piece does another 90 degree turn, making that card go vertical. So there's, I mean, it's, it's super clever. Like the mechanism itself is just insanely clever. You have a place to put the deck of cards, which also has a slit in it so that you can insert the bottom card into that alligator clip. You then unclip the ball bearing, making the alligator clip shut, closed, and hold very tightly. Then you put your hand on the deck and activate the uh, lever keeping the spring down, causing it to do a full 180 degree flip and then the alligator clip does another 90 degree flip to cause the card to go into this vertical position all right guys 
<laughs> that wraps up this episode or the first episode of my vintage magic series where I go to a magic shop and I find a wacky old magic prop and bring it back to life, perform it and show it to you guys. This balloon popping trap of death is uh, by far one of the neatest and wacky apparatuses that I've ever found. But I'm gonna start going to magic shops and finding weird, intricate magic because I wanna be a resource for all of you younger guys out there because a lot of you are focusing on modern methodology and I'd love to just be able to show you guys some of the cool, wacky, old stuff that existed, even if it's just a way for you to learn about new, cool, or I should say old and cool magic tricks. I wanna be that resource. So everybody, I'm John Fessel. If you enjoyed this video, God, you know the drill. Like, subscribe, comment. Comment how much you hate my videos. That always makes me happy. No, but really, uh, if you guys like this video, please hop down in the comments. Uh, tell me what you thought. Tell me what tricks you want to see. And uh, yeah, subscribe if you enjoy this. All right, enjoy yourselves, guys, and uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Bye, everybody. Bye, Wave Gang.